Okay, some concerning news about women and caffeine. This after a new study finds that drinking too much coffee while trying to conceive, conceive could lead to a miscarriage. And this applies equally for men and women. Dr. Siegel, tell us why. Well, first of all, Arthel, you made a great point, which is so let's start with the fact that this caffeine can affect men's sperm. So it can affect the ability to conceive. The focus of the study, though, is, is miscarriage in the first trimester, up to seven weeks. And it's really shocking to think that men drinking more than two cups of coffee a day, again, we're talking caffeine here, not coffee, because David and I have talked on this show many times about the benefits of coffee. But caffeine, when you're pregnant, in the early part of pregnancy, when you should be taking folate and vitamin B6, by the way, which decreases miscarriages, caffeine increases. Why? Your heart rate is going up. Your Blood pressure is going up, you're not sleeping as well. And I think that the reason men are involved as well at that point is because they're not sleeping and their heart rate and their blood pressure is going up and they're bugging you and you're getting upset. And guess what? That being stressed is the number one cause of miscarriage. And, and the amount was 98 miscarriages out of 344 people studied. A huge increase over what you would expect, 30 to 40 percent. That's a lot. So I think the take home message here is you can have a cup of coffee or two. But beware, because caffeine is in everywhere. It's, it's in, in Coke. Sodas, it's, it's in your sodas. Energy drinks. It's tea. in the it, right. Cho it's chocolate. Your chocolate bars yeah. that you're notching on. You know. Well, Absolutely. You know, more and more research actually has shown that coffee is extremely healthy for you. We've talked about the past that, uh, you know, it's, it reduces the risk of diabetes. Three to four cups of coffee can reduce the risk of Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. We just talked about prostate cancer and even multiple sclerosis. When it, but the exception to the rule is that if you're pregnant, you should not be on caffeine or coffee. If you have reflux, if you have arrhythmia, heart disease, if you have anxiety disorder or sleeping problems, stay away from coffee. For pregnancy, I think what it does when it comes to men, it changes something called sex hormone binding globulin. What does that mean? It can change your estrogen and testosterone and can maybe change the mobility, motility of the sperms. I think in women, it obviously the caffeine passes through the placenta, can affect the kid. It hasn't resulted in any kind of attention def deficit or behavioral. That study has already been done. But I think up to 200 milligrams is what American Society of Gynecology and Obstetrics is saying. 200 milligrams, which is about two cups or less. Two yes. cups of coffee or less. An eight, eight ounce of coffee, Arthur, is about 140 milligrams. So two cups or less a day. Okay. And no milk or sugar, obviously. That's, that's obvious. Mm -hmm. One word of caution before you go. Just a quick word of caution. If you stop drinking your coffee, because we're warning you out here, beware. Right. Don't go running to the pharmacy and take some headache medication that's or right. something that I don't, definitely don't want you to have during pregnancy. Exactly, because sometimes if you do cold turkey off a of mm -hmm. coffee, you get headaches and other things, or mainly oh, headaches. Yeah. You take Emphasize yeah. Yeah. prenatal yeah. vitamins, please. Folic acid, and you said vitamin, vitamin B6. B6. Very B6. important. Okay. Folic B6 and? Folic acid and vitamin okay. B. All right. Six.